What was your first day like at your current job? Do you remember it? I've talked to some people who have some pretty underwhelming memories of their first days. You know, you show up and the receptionist didn't realize you were starting that day. So you're shown to your desk with a compliance and ethics binder to review until your boss shows up. And on your desktop itself is this weird random collection of stuff. There's a ballpoint pen and 67 binder clips and like a floppy disk drive from the 80s. Your chair, it bears the imprint of its previous owner like an ergonomic butt fossil. Eventually a, a good Samaritan on your floor stops by and introduces herself and then carries you around to meet 30 other people in five minutes. You immediately forget all of their names. Any of this ringing a bell? Neglecting the first day of a new employee's experience is a huge missed opportunity. My brother and I have been studying defining moments in people's lives and in their careers, and so often these moments are transitions. Think about the way we tell our life stories. Well, I was born in Milwaukee, and I went to school in Chicago, and then I took my first job out of school, and that's where I met my wife, Samantha, and then we moved back to Milwaukee to have kids. You see what's going on there? You're telling the transition points. In fact, cultures take transitions so seriously, they have rituals to demarcate and to celebrate them. Think about graduation ceremonies or weddings or rites of passage rituals. Transitions deserve attention. The first day of work is a classic transition point. It deserves attention, but most organizations are not providing it. But John Deere is. There's a woman named Lonnie Lawrence Fry who worked in the internal branding department at John Deere and she worked with a consultant named Louis Carbone to create what they called the John Deere first day experience. Here's the way it worked. After you accepted your offer letter, a few days later you get an email from a colleague at John Deere who would tell you what people wear and where do they go to lunch and where should you park on your first day. And when you arrive, you, you see your friend at the front door. She's got a cup of coffee for you. And you walk in the lobby, and it says, Welcome Steve on the giant LED monitors in the lobby. You're Steve. You're in lights. You get shown up to your desk, and on your monitor is this beautiful shot of John Deere equipment on a farm at sunset. It says, Welcome to the most important work you'll ever do. You open your email box. You've got an email already. It's actually from Sam Allen, the CEO of John Deere, and in the video, he talks about his career and he talks about the mission of John Deere, which is to provide the food and the shelter and the infrastructure that's going to be demanded by the world's growing population. At lunch, your colleagues take you out and tell you about the projects ongoing. Your boss stops by in the afternoon, along with your boss's boss. They both make appointments to talk to you in the weeks that follow. And you walk out the door that day thinking, I belong here. The work that we're doing, it matters, and I seem to matter to them. When they rolled out this experience for the first time in Beijing, some of the employees who'd been working there a long time said, can we quit and rejoin so we can get the first day experience? Shouldn't every organization in the world have a moment like this first day experience? And shouldn't we be paying more attention? to these transition points in employees' lives, starting with their first day, moving to their first job with people reporting to them, all the way through to their retirement. If we really care about improving the employee experience, about boosting employee engagement, we need to start paying attention to these transition points and start creating moments that matter.